Kevin Durant returned to the Nets last night, and he played 19 minutes. I don't know if uh, you know we can determine how chemistry was or is or will be affected, but they played seven games together, hit all five of his shots. He had 17 points in a blowout win over the Pelicans. And, you know, this is the highest scoring half of the season to start the game that they had. You know, they're putting up 135. It's not a big deal. But don't limit Brooklyn to just three players. LaMarcus Aldridge looks alive. He looks fresh. Blake Griffin, they look good. Uh, you know, Durant's deadly. Uh, Harden has been great. Kyrie can score on anyone. The role players know their strengths, or at least they know their weaknesses. And they may not have a lot of time to figure all this out, but it may not matter as good as they are. I'm, I'm curious if they don't play that many games together and what they're going to be like once the playoffs start. But what I saw last night with Durant playing, the Nets certainly look like the contender that uh, we think that they will be. Yeah, McLevin. Do they need to get tested, though, so they know if there's one minute left in a playoff game, who's going to take the shot, you know? Yeah. And who is going to take the shot? I think... Uh, I think that depends on the game, the opponent, who's guarding Kyrie, who's guarding Durant, who's guarding Harden. And the other team is not going to know. It's not like you go, hey, we're facing the Lakers. You know Kobe's taking the shot. You don't know who would be taking the shot of those three. That's pretty dangerous there. Don't leave Joe Harris open yeah, either. Well, he's a great knockdown shooter. But I think that's the fun part of this with the Nets. They're still figuring this out. And I don't know if this is going to be a situation like it was with LeBron when he went to the Miami Heat. They were figuring this out that first year. They didn't win. But, you know, with the Nets, you know, they're supposed to win the championship this year. I think even with a healthy LeBron and healthy Anthony Davis, they're supposed to win the championship this year. Yeah, McClub. Was it a big part of that in Miami? Chris Bosh took a secondary role, but... Does one of these guys have to take a secondary role? I'm not sure that they're capable of it. Uh, it was different with Bosch because, you know, it was Wade's team, but it was really LeBron was the best player. And Chris Bosch knew that he was the, the third wheel here. But also he knew what his role was. And I think him accepting it was so important for this team to evolve. Same thing with Kevin Love. When Kevin Love went to the Cavs with Kyrie and LeBron – he knew, okay, what is my role? When I get the ball, three-point range. You know, this is a guy who once put up, what, 30 and 30 in a game? 30 points, 30 rebounds in a game when he was in Minneapolis? You know, he understood his role. When you get those players who understand those roles, then you take away a lot of that drama about, oh, I'm not getting my touches. I hope that the goal for the Nets is, let's just win a championship. Let's have fun winning a championship. Not... Who's going to get credit? You know, who gets the last shot? Like that's silly stuff. But if if the Nets win, then everybody wins. But I don't. You know, as far as stats go, if KD averages eighteen, if Kyrie averages twenty four, if Harden averages twenty, like I don't care. If I'm on the Nets team, or I'm coaching the Nets, or I'm a Nets fan, I just just win. That's it. I mean, who remembers LeBron's stats last year? How many did he average? We know he led the league in assists, but see, it, it's just, they won. Who cares? Yeah, McLovin. You're crazy. All sounds good now, but when James Harden takes a shot and Kyrie's like, I could have beat my man, I feel like there, there could be some, you know, you say it doesn't matter who takes the last second shot, but Kyrie knows he can hit that last second shot. Harden knows he can hit that. Durant <laughs> knows he can hit that. So if the other guy misses it, they're going to be like, I should have taken it. Especially Kyrie. He's unstoppable. He is. He is. He, he, you forget. And maybe because you, you sort of don't want to acknowledge just how great he is because of the off-the-court stuff. But, man, as far as dribbling in traffic, he's as good as anybody I've ever seen. Tight spaces, he's unbelievable. Great you know what? Why well, I'm really cringy is because my Sixers, I'm trying to do the matchups in my head where they get out of the series. It seems like an uphill battle. Like, because they don't have that guy who, you know, they have Embiid, but he's not like the guy who creates a shot in the last minute. Yeah. I, I, I still don't know what the Sixers have. Like, I, I have a pretty good idea what the Nets have. I don't know what the Sixers have. As much as I want to go, okay, with Doc there, Embiid, there's no more drama with Simmons. He's not being traded. Uh, Tobias Harris has played well. 
But I, I just don't know, you know, in a seven-game series, can they be great? Can they be very good? Because you have to beat the Nets four times. That's why it would always come down to whenever you were looking at some of these teams, some of these players, and I'd say, can you beat him or them four times? It's not one and done, you know, March Madness. You've got to beat them four times. And what are the odds of beating the Nets four times in a seven-game series? What are the odds of beating the Lakers when they're fully assembled four times? Sixers, you can beat them four times. And they may beat themselves. That's another thing. You know, are the Nets going to beat themselves? I mean, Kyrie's averaging, what, 28 a game? Harden's averaging 25? You, you have to get two of the three to not have good games. Can you have that? Or if there's an injury. I think injury is really, that, that would be the only thing that would prevent the Nets from playing for a title this year. If you say the big three are healthy, they're going to play for the title. And, and they'll be favored to win the title. Yeah, Paul. James Harden's only averaging uh, 17 attempts a game this year. Yeah. 17. That's the lowest since he left Oklahoma City in 2011. Yeah. No, they, they've, they're doing it the right way. I don't think anybody's questioned Steve Nash and how he's handled all of this with these stars there, and he's had interchangeable lineups. But when all three are on the floor, that's what's going to be fun. But you have to beat them four times. If it was one and done, now it's different. But it's four times. And I just don't see somebody beating them four times.